Hello guys, Jagreer here, back with another video on part design in Katia V5 software. Today, I will tell you guys how to use shaft feature in Katia, which you can see right here on my screen. This is the shaft feature and this is one very handy feature that might help you to save much of your time while you are working in any cylindrical surfaces while designing and if you have layers or, or maybe any build up of different different structures one over the other and you can avoid the pad feature and choose shaft over pad anytime to save a lot of your time so let me show you how it works and you might also see the difference that yes you can use pad feature for making the same shapes but I will tell you why I recommend you to use shaft over pad for any circular or cylindrical surfaces to be made so let's get started right here I choose sketch and click on any plane that I want to make so now I would start with the rectangle I choose rectangle let's start with any random cylinder let's say so I'm going to make one half of the cylinder whatever the dimensions are if you want the cylinder to have a diameter of 200 then you have to start from the center and enter the value of 100 which is the half of it and whatever the length of the cylinder is given to you let's say I consider it 150 in this case so I exit out so now this is the very basic example that I'm giving to use shaft I click on shaft and it asks me to select a profile or a surface and on selection I choose the sketch that I made now it's asking for an axis either you can right click and choose the Z axis as we know that we want to make this sketch revolve about so consider shaft as revolution of your sketch all the way through so I, if I choose the Z axis right here you can see that it gives me a preview of how my solid will look like you can also adjust the angle by which you want to make your solid extrude it if you want to have something looking like this or if you want a complete solid of 360 degrees you enter 360 and click OK so now someone can easily ask me that yes like if I want to make the same kind of feature it's better to I just go make another circle instead of focusing and just give a dimension of whatever I want to let's say in this case we took 200 as a diameter and exit out and or just go to pad and click on this particular surface and enter whatever the length it was it was 150 and we had the same result definitely you have either one of the option to make simple cylindrical solids like in this case but what if if I say that I have to make something which is more complicated instead of just a simple cylinder but it's cylindrical in shape so let's say I consider one feature which is kind of a Christmas tree and have different different features one over the other and I will show you why shaft plays an important role to make those kind of feature over any other so right here it took me a few seconds and you can always dimension them in order to make them fully constrained I exit out see what I was able to do with shaft is I was able I just made half of the sketch and I completely changed the shape of the cylindrical object that I wanted to similarly you can always refer to whatever the shape or size that you want to and is very easily controllable using the shaft feature but you cannot do the same thing that you did 
in shaft with pad in pad you need to change the dimensions whatever the dimensions are let's say that I have my dimensions right here within the sketch I say that the base should be let's say 30 the second step should be 60 the third step should be close to let's say 90 the fourth step considering it to be 120 and the fifth step considering it to be 150 and there we go when we are going to do that we need to make sure that in shaft is pretty easily controlled just by dimensioning and exiting out it will give us the shape that we desire to with the perfect dimensions but in case of pad we need to make each solid go step by step instead of making or working on them so in this case if the dimension the bottom diameter is 195 let's say so now we have to run down the entire surface in order to change all the dimension that are available right here so in this case we have 200 so we have to do 195 times 2 we can also allow Katia to do the calculation itself and here we need to do everything step by step like each extrusion we need to choose the top and make the next circle onto it and so on and on and on so that's a lengthy procedure to follow and you can see we will get the same results but using the shaft it becomes easy to control the feature and the dimensions so that's it for today Thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video. Take care, share with your friends and have fun with Katia.